this chapter is talking all about subtraction. And it starts out with subtracting mentally. Now, mental subtraction is very difficult and I wouldn't expect a third grader to pick it up after one lesson. So please revisit these strategies over and over. I guarantee it'll help with your students' number sense. That's their ability to look at numbers and see how they work instead of just relying on a procedure. So this, this is a very, uh, one of the most simple ways to subtract mentally and it's counting up. When you count up, you you are building an understanding that subtraction and addition are very similar. When you subtract 15 minus 15, that's really easy to figure out that the answer is zero. Because if you have $15 and you spend $15, you have zero dollars left. If you were teaching the standard algorithm, five minus five is zero, one minus one is zero. So this one isn't too difficult to understand as far as subtraction is concerned. And even if you were to add 15 plus zero, you would get, if you added the zero to this 15, you would get this number. Well, if you add five to that top add end, 20 minus 15, normally you would need to borrow and you know uh, take a 10 away from here and put it here then subtract 10 minus 5 and you get 5 and 1 minus 1 and you get 0 but th and this is the point here that process is important to build the standard algorithm skill but we should also be developing a mental ability to see numbers and know that 15 is 5 less than 20. And one way to prove that is by counting up from 15 by 5s. From 15 to 20. Now counting by 5s is a normal strategy. You can count by 1s. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Whatever counting you decide to use, that's not a difficult thing to do. And it comes in very handy when you have to look at numbers like 23 minus 15. Counting past that 20 mark is very difficult, especially with subtraction. So instead, instead of having to borrow and cross out and write everything down, it's better if your students practice understanding that 15 is a certain number away from 23. There's a difference. And that difference between the numbers is what they're finding. So count up from 15. If you count up to 20, you know that that's going to be 5. So from 15 to 20, you just added 5. And from 20, 21, 22, 23 is 3 more. I wouldn't ever expect a student to write all this out. This is done in your mind. Okay? From 15 all the way to 23, it's 5, 6, 7, 8. 15 to 20 is 5, and 20 to 23 is 3. You can see that in your head. That's why we call it subtracting mentally. We know that the difference is 8. Now when you get into numbers such as 33 minus 25, this is what we're used to teaching and this is what we're used to learning. 33 minus 25 is 8. Because I borrow from this tens and I add it to this 3, and now I'm dealing with 13 minus 5. But even that is easy enough to count from 5 up to 10, 11, 12, 13. Counting up from 25 is as easy as counting up to 30 plus 5. And then 31, 32, 33, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. So counting up is the first strategy for subtracting mentally.